Today, October 12th, is the birthday of Marisol Lopez. She should be 60, but was killed at 55 in the Sebring, Florida, SunTrust Bank mass shooting. A mother of two and a beloved wife, Marisol sang in the choir and taught Sunday school. She was known for her kindness, positivity, compassion, humility, and even temper. She loved shopping for shoe deals and traveling the world with her family. Her husband provided a glimpse into the loss. When someone you love dies, you fall apart. You feel empty. You cry alone. Your life will never be the same again. Her supervisor, with whom she had worked for over 20 years, called her my right arm, my greatest resource, and another sister to me. Her pastor described her as a leader and the kind of person who always had hope. A former customer called her a kind and gentle person with a servant's heart. In her obituary, her family expressed her forgiving heart, saying that even though her life was unjustly taken, she would forgive even the taker. Almost four years later, the families are still waiting for justice. The shooter remains in prison, awaiting a trial repeatedly delayed. In 2014, he was taken to a behavioral health center after admitting to dreams of killing his high school classmates. In 2017, he was referred for police intervention after texting thoughts of suicide and hostage-taking. In 2019, he bought a gun and killed five women in the SunTrust Bank. Once again, red flag laws and interventions could have prevented the senseless loss of life.